Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore the rotation tool in Blender software. So right now I've got this model. I just select that and delete it. And uh, I'll just create uh, this model called monkey so that you could able to uh, rotate it uh, and see uh, or visualize it correctly. So right now I've got this model. So you have this selected tool. In selected tool, you have a tweak, select box, circle and lasso methods, which means uh, I can click and drag and uh, I can click the model, which uh, which will not allow me to drag and select. Yes, you need to click and it gets selected. Then you have a circle, which is going to select the object and make sure that you have a bigger radius to click and select that. Then you have a lasso, which you can select by just lassoing it. So you have uh, different types of uh, selections. So when you are in the rotation tool, what type of uh, selection you want here, you can generally pick. For example, if you drag, it doesn't uh, select that object. So you need to change it to the select box or make sure it is select box. So if you drag it gets selected like that. So select the object and then here in the toolbox you have the rotation tool. So select that tool and you get a manipulator. So you have this uh, manipulator here which has got uh, circles red color, the green and the blue and there is a white color circle. This is a very conventional rotation uh, gizmo or manipulator. So uh, if I select this uh, red color circle and drag it, the object is uh, rotated in X axis. Okay, let me open the object properties and then just click and drag. You should be able to see I'm rotating in the X axis. So if I do this, I'm rotating in the negative X axis. So the units here are in degrees and uh, there is a relation between the rotation tool and the move tool I imagine holding this handle and twisting it okay when you do that you get the object rotated like that okay so if, if you select the blue handle and then you rotate it or twist it just by hold like you hold a stick and then twist it so just uh, uh, this handle is uh, perpendicular to this circle okay so that is the relation between the move tool and rotate tool so i'm rotating in the z axis i'm rotating in the y axis here uh, uh, there is a uh, you know a white color circle here which is rotating the object based on your view camera view let's say if i click and drag i'm rotating um, to my view i mean imagine there's a line coming towards camera and i'm twisting that line and if i uh, rotate this way the rotation happens favoring this camera view okay so this is uh, the rotation tool here so while you're rotating if you hold control and drag it your rotation will be at the increment of 10 degrees so this will be very useful when it comes to uh, rotate it 90 degrees and all. So uh, apart from that, if you want to access this tool, okay, you need to press uh, shift space bar and then you get a menu and here you need to choose the rotate tool. Okay. Now if you uh, hover the cursor over this tool, you will able to see uh, some shortcut here that is shift space bar and R. So R is a very, uh, I mean it gives a tool which is very unique to Blender. Let's say if I select the model and press R, you will not see any uh, handle. Instead you will see this uh, wire connected from the object's pivot point and you are able to see two arrows facing up and down so when i move that 
in the direction of that arrows if I'm moving the cursor and I'm rotating this object here okay now if I um, if I just uh, press R while I'm doing this you get this uh, trackball effect where you could generally m click and move like that so just uh, left click and then confirm your rotation there okay uh, your rotation values are now non-zero so to reset this you can click or you can press backspace and then it becomes default so press R and then you should able to see uh, this uh, trackball effect while you are doing that the next thing is uh, you can right click and then uh, reset all default values so it will reset that so while I'm rotating um, what I'm trying to tell is I can change my rotation tool to scale tool just by pressing S and then I can change it to move tool by just changing pressing it to G so click left mouse button to confirm it so uh, so when I'm rotating this okay when I'm rotating this uh, one thing I need to remember that is um, if I hold shift and then rotate you're getting that uh, sort of uh, lag in that which you don't generally see in this okay and uh, next thing is um, if I press X on the keyboard and then uh, if you see the cursor direction arrows so if I move this left and right the object is rotating in X axis okay like that and then if I press R and then Y I am rotating this object in the Y axis and uh, R and Z will rotate the object in the Z axis okay so while you are rotating in X axis okay if I hold control and drag it will be rotated in the direction but it is basically rotating at an increment of uh, 10 degrees okay it's snapping and rotating and uh, when I am rotating okay if uh, let's say I want to rotate this object I press R X now if I enter a value of 45 the object is rotated 45 degrees okay so uh, rotating uh, can be done here using um, the R and X and uh, you could also use uh, so you can also rotate this and one thing I should tell you if I press R on the keyboard you get this uh, blender exclusive rotate tool while if you uh, press shift space bar you can access the rotate tool here uh, with this particular menu which is your conventional rotation tool okay and uh, you can also access the rotation tool from the transform menu here you could uh, use uh, the rotation tool and then access that okay uh, you can also enter the values here in the proper object properties and you can enter precise numbers and also you can click and drag and you get that slider effect for the rotation tool so you want to rotate this object so there are different ways one is your uh, toolbox which brings your conventional transform tools the other one is the shortcut which is R which gives you a, a rotation tool which is exclusive to blender and then you got object properties where you can enter the values just click and drag and also you have the transform and then rotate here so that's what rotation tool is about